In this episode, we'll show you the world's largest whale. You'll find out what kind of whale it is, how big it is, and most importantly, what this amazing giant can do. In addition, there are a couple of nice bonuses about other incredible whales in the video. So we recommend watching the episode till the end. It'll be interesting. The largest whale in the world. You all probably know that the blue whale is recognized as the largest mammal on the planet at the moment. Moreover, many scientists even claim that the blue whale is the largest animal in the history of Earth. But in fact, the number of respected organizations, including the World Wildlife Fund, believe that the largest whale on the planet is not the blue whale itself, but its subspecies, the Antarctic or Southern blue whale. Once again, Antarctica surprises us with its giants. According to the World Wildlife Fund, an Antarctic blue whale is the largest animal in the world with an average length of 30 meters or 98 feet and a weight of over 180 tons. To give you an idea of how much that is, one Antarctic blue whale weighs as much as 30 savanna elephants, the largest land animal in the world. Of course, an Antarctic blue whale is not as huge and is shown in some pictures, but still it's very big. People who saw this giant in close proximity said it made an incredible impression on them. According to them, when you see an Antarctic blue whale floating by, it's kind of like standing on a station platform by a passing train, hoping that the wind from the train won't pull you under its wheels. A similar statement, by the way, is true of ordinary blue whales. As for incredible characteristics and abilities of the Antarctic monster, they're astonishing. The heart of this whale alone is comparable in size to a car which is simply amazing. Also, this giant is hardly equal in its appetite. An Antarctic blue whale consumes about 3,600 kilograms or 7,930 pounds of krill a day. Just think about it, more than three and a half tons of food a day. Again, to give you an idea of how much this is, an average person eats up to 50 tons of food in a lifetime. That is, an Antarctic blue whale eats as much in just a couple of weeks as a human eats in 70 years. Fortunately, Antarctic blue whales are not predators. Can you imagine how much worse it would be for ocean dwellers if these giants were carnivores? The Antarctic's giant's abilities do not end there. The World Wildlife Fund recognizes it as the loudest animal on the planet. An Antarctic blue whale screams at 188 decibels, while the volume of a jet plane is 140 decibels. The Antarctic monster's cry can be heard hundreds of kilometers away. These whales communicate with each other using their cry. Fortunately, these mammals, like usual blue whales, communicate at low frequencies. If they shouted at high frequencies, ocean residents and people living in coastal areas would simply go deaf. Antarctic blue whales are unbelievable animals that amaze us with their capabilities. Unfortunately, these giants are now threatened with extinction. Back in 1926, 125,000 whales were swimming in Antarctic waters, and today there are about 3,000 of them left. Commercial whaling, which was legal for most of the 20th century, is to blame. Now many organizations are protecting this amazing subspecies. Hopefully, this subspecies can recover its population, otherwise the world will lose these incredible giants. Would you like to travel to the South Pole to see these amazing creatures with your own eyes? Write about it in the comment section below. And we'll continue. Antarctic blue whales are certainly unique and very cool animals, but there are quite a few other interesting whales in the world to talk about. Stay tuned because next we'll show you some unique whale specimens that are sure to surprise you. The world's loneliest whale that can't communicate with its congeners. A trained whale that can play rugby and film the ocean on a GoPro. And an albino whale which is protected by government. These and some more incredible whales are next in this episode. Let's move on. All whales in the world sing and scream at low frequencies, about 15 to 20 hertz. But there's a unique whale among all other whales in the world. It's the 52 hertz whale. Since the 1980s, scientists have been tracking it regularly in different parts of the world ocean. As you might have guessed, this individual communicates on a frequency of 52 hertz. Actually, communicates is not quite the right word because it cannot be heard by other individuals. Whales simply do not perceive communication at such a high frequency. Scientists believe that the 52 hertz whale is the only whale in the world that sings and cries at such a high frequency, and therefore they called it the loneliest whale in the world. Unfortunately, 
none of its congeners understand this poor fellow. Science still can't figure out what caused this malfunction and why the whale started singing at such a high pitch. Considering that scientists have only sound recordings, there's no way to establish contact with the individual itself. Answers may never be forthcoming. One of the most amazing toothed whales lives in the Arctic waters. We're talking about a male beluga whale, which has made a lot of noise on the internet in the last few years. Now you'll see why. In 2019, one girl went to a pier in Hammerfest, Norway to watch some beluga whales. She lay down on the pier and tried to reach for a toothy whale to pet it, but suddenly her iPhone fell out of her jacket pocket and into the water. The girl had already said goodbye to her smartphone when suddenly a male beluga whale dived in, caught the phone, and returned it to the girl. Unusual situation, huh? But that's not all. That same year, but a little later, a group of South African rugby fans went to the Arctic. When they saw a male beluga not far from the ship, they threw it a ball. As the fans say, they just wanted to give the whale a gift. But they never expected that the male whale would swim for the ball, catch it, and return it back. Later, the fans threw the ball to the whale several more times, and it returned it back each time. Would every whale do the same thing? Finally, a couple years ago, a male beluga whale with a GoPro on its head was spotted off the coast of Norway. This is already very interesting, right? Why would a toothy whale need a camera? He's not a YouTube blogger after all. Many people are sure that all three stories feature the same male beluga whale, which is not as simple as it seems. Migaloo There's another amazing whale with almost no analogs in the world. Migaloo is the whale that was first spotted off the coast of Australia in 1991. One look at this whale may be enough for many of you to understand why it's unusual. Migaloo is an albino whale. Scientists originally thought that Migaloo was the only one of its kind, but they later came across other albino humpback whales, which were given the names Balu, Willow, and Migaloo Jr. But there's a connection between these individuals and Migaloo. Scientists believe that all of these albino whales are descendants of Migaloo. For 30 years, scientists have been observing Migaloo's behavior. They determined that the whale was born in 1996. They were also able to find out that Migaloo is a healthy animal despite its peculiarity. Migaloo is a unique whale, so to preserve such an individual, the Australian government even passed a special law. The distance between people and the Migaloo must be at least 500 meters, 1,640 feet. Only occasionally, this unique whale is seen in different parts of the Pacific Ocean, and although many people go on sea trips hoping to meet it, only a few of them are lucky to come across Migaloo. If you're disappointed that you won't get an opportunity to meet Migaloo, don't despair. Migaloo's a great whale, but there are other interesting whales in the world that you can meet. In the final part of this episode, we'll tell you about a couple of whale species you may see with your own eyes. Did you know that there are bottlenose whales? This is not a gimmick. They really are called that. Bottlenose whales is a genus of beaked whale containing two species, the northern and southern bottlenose whales. Southern bottlenose whales live in the waters of the South Pole, so we're not very interested in them because it's unlikely that many of you will get an opportunity to visit Antarctica. The Azores, on the other hand, do not seem to be such an inaccessible place because these islands can be visited. On a trip to these islands, you can go on an excursion tour of the northern bottlenose whales. This species is much better studied than its southern congener. Northern bottlenose whales live in waters of the northern hemisphere. It can even be found in the Mediterranean Sea and occasionally in the White Sea and the Baltic Sea. This whale often comes ashore so you can see these whales with your own eyes. Of course, they're not as big as blue whales, but a northern bottlenose whale is still a very interesting species. Psy whale And finally, we have another interesting species. The Psy whale is a baleen whale, the third largest rorqual after the blue whale and the fin whale. These animals, reaching up to 13 meters or 42 feet in length, are inhabited from the northern latitudes of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans to the Antarctic. Psy whales, preferring waters with a temperature from 8 to 25 degrees Celsius or 46 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, in Russian waters, it can be found near the Kuril Islands and in the Barents Sea. Psy whales keep in small groups not far from the shore, so if you find yourself in the right place, you will easily meet one of these amazing creatures. 
That's all guys. Press the like button if you liked the video, subscribe and don't forget to stay notified for upcoming videos. Check out some more of our stuff and we'll see you later.